All right, trainers, while we may be at the Pokemon League, that's not what this episode is about. Nope, because remember, we got something kind of cool when we ran into N at Badge Check Gate. Yeah, we got the HM for Waterfall, and there's a few places we can go back to. And uh, now that we have Waterfall, we might be able to get some stuff. One of the main places, though, is the Abundant Shrine, which is only accessible if you have Waterfall, and you can get to it from Route 14. However, before we go there, even though that's what this episode is about, we're going to check out two more places. Uh, actually, maybe even three. Because there's waterfalls on all these routes. So, this is going to be kind of the waterfall episode. Let's first go back to the Lost Lorn Forest. Oh, wait, there's somewhere you can do, uh... Somewhere you can do waterfall with, or climb a waterfall, do waterfall with. Um, <laughs> there's somewhere you can do that in, uh, Route 20, I think. You know what? It's late. I don't want to deal with that. I'll tell you what. That's something I can do later. Um, I just want to go to the Abundant Shrine. That's what I want to do. So let's go there right now. That's really the cool place, because that's where you can find some interesting new Pokemon. Well, not new as in, you know, you've never seen them before in your life, but new as in, oh, wow, that's cool, I didn't, oh, wait, what am I missing here? Oh, yeah, that's right. So, on the beach, oftentimes, some of the hidden items, they will respawn, as you can see there, because I do remember getting all of the items there, and lo and behold, there was a heart scale waiting for me. I'm not the type to miss things like that. So, let's run on back to Route 14. Could take a shortcut by using Waterfall there, but that's all good. I'm close enough. Alright, um... I'm gonna use my Repel really quick here. Okay. Now, we're all good. Let's surf on the water! So this time we're gonna climb that waterfall. Yep, we're gonna climb this thing right here. Yeah, climb it, Maryland. Woo! Um, hmm, anything fun over here? Oh, there's that guy. But hold up, is there an item over here that I may be missing? Hmm. Actually, I don't think there is. Whoops, oh well. Wait, no, wait, maybe there is. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, right here. A nugget. Cool. Okay, um, I'm going to use Surf. Let's just go on over here. And we gotta fight this guy. Yeah. Hoo ha. Hoo ha. Man, that's rank. Okay, let's fight. Let's fight, Black Belt J. His Heracross. Oh, Heracross. When will you ever... Ooh. It might get a close combat off now. Huh. Well, anyway, I look at it. This is a job for a miracle. Looks like you're finally gonna hit me. Megahorn. <laughs> nope. Just can't do it. Just can't do it. Oh, you will never learn, Heracross. You will never learn. You got so ambitious. So ambitious, but your ambition got the better of you. Okay, Gigalith. Gigalith, Gigalith, Gigalith. Well, it's gonna take two hits to knock it out anyway, thanks to Sturdy, so I'll send out my Sturdy Snake Scaly. That was fun to say. Smiley Swimmer. Uh, okay, let's use Leaf Blade. It has a mountain of defense, though. Which is why it did so, so little. Okay, um, hmm. There we go. There we go, that's good. So let's check out this abundant shrine. Oh, darn it, there's still one more Pokemon. What is this? Okay, I'm gonna leave it up to you, Sakurai. Mainly because you're the last one that's not at level 57. No stones. Uh, take a risk. 
Yeah! So strong. Oops. Would figure, wouldn't it? Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, hey, look at me. I can hit with a 50% chance. You know, I'm just so good. Oh, well, I guess it did miss with Megahorn earlier, so... Even though that happens rather often, it's... You know... More likely to, uh, hit with it, so I guess I'm glad I missed. Or I'm glad he missed. Gah! Wow. Tell me how you really feel. There's a nugget right here. Cool. Um... I'm gonna revive what's his face really quick. I'm not gonna heal him though. I'll just let him use Drain Punch or something. To be honest, that guy is the only tough guy you have to deal with. Everyone else, all the trainers in this area are like super duper weak except for him. For some reason, it's kind of strange. You almost thought, well, at least I almost thought that, oh, well, you know, they're weak because you may be able to get Waterfall. Oh, really quick. Protein, right there. Uh, yeah, you know, I was thinking, well, you know, maybe they're just weak because you can hypothetically get Waterfall before N by trading. But, no, and then there's that guy with those really strong Pokemon, so it doesn't even make sense. So, this is the Abundant Shrine, and as you walk in here, so you know what Landorus is like when it means business, huh? Whoa. Yeah, I do! It changes into another form and flies around in the sky. Tornadus and Thunderous change forms, too. Well, that's a story, anyway. That's good, then. You know, I've only heard about it in stories, too. And they're gone. This little shrine is dedicated to a Pokemon called Landorus. They say that when Tornadus and Thunderous were whipping up storms that damaged houses and fields all over the Unova region, Landorus made them stop. That's a story from when my grandpa was just a little kid. Cool story, sis. Um, I'm gonna send out Sakurai. Oh, he's already out. How convenient. <sighs> Alright, so, um, you cannot actually get Thunderous, Tornadus, or Landorus in this game on its own. No, I don't need to repel. It's the great Landorus that protects this land. With its help, we are assured of rich soil and prosperous harvest. Well, good for you. Good for you. Um, yeah, but anyway, what I was saying is, you cannot get Landorus or Thunderous or a Tornadus in this game. You can get a Calcium right here, but that's beside the point. You can only get them if uh, you're playing the Pokemon Dream Radar app, or if you trade with, uh, you know, your Pokemon White or Black version, I guess. But the Pokemon Dream Radar, that's where you catch them in their Therian form which is their cool new form that they get in this version. Well, in both versions, really. You can take them here. Uh, actually, I think you take Landorus here. And to the shrine thingy that I'll point out to you. And if you do that, you'll then get the reveal glass, which can be used to change between forms. It's a key item. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten that far in my Dream Radar app just yet, so I'm not gonna show you. But I do predict sometime in the future I will be showing you. I just wanted to show you that you could go here if you wanted to catch certain Pokemon. In fact, there's several Pokemon, too, that are available only here. The first, it's a popular favorite. A lot of Pokemon love the little Firefox thing. Yes, that's right, it's Vulpix. This is where you get the Pokemon Vulpix. Now, it's a pretty good fire type, but the problem is you get it so late in the game and there are so many better flying type Pokemon that it really doesn't matter. Um, I'll be honest, it just, it loses its relevancy at this point. If you really are absolutely set on getting a Ninetales because you like it or something, well, here's your chance. You can get it before you beat the Elite Four, but just know if you're just looking for a fire type Pokemon, you're better with Arcanine, you're better with Chandelure, you're better with Armanitan, you're probably better with Simiseer, um, you're better with Magmortar. I mean, it's just outclassed by so many different things. The only exception is if you have the time and patience to pick one up in the Abundant Shrine. 
Um, you can find it in the Abundant Shrine, the Hidden Grotto there, is what I mean to say. Um, there are two Hidden Grottos in here, in the Abundant Shrine. Uh, where is the first? Well, I'll show you in my- Oh, look! There's a Vulpix! Cute. I wanna go get it. I'll just toss a quick ball at it and we'll see what happens. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, it looks so mad. <laughs> It had, like, this sad face. Yeah, so the other Pokemon you can run into is Bronzong. Now, unlike Vulpix, Bronzong's actually pretty, uh, pretty worthwhile because it's a very solid defensive tank. It can hit pretty hard, too, surprisingly enough. Um, and it's a Steel Psychic type, so pretty much it's kind of like a Metagross in that regard. Which I guess is a good thing. Did I fight those twins? Yeah, they had Swablus, that's right. I knew I saw Swablus. Meryl! It's the other person I didn't fight. That's right. Alright, out of my way. Let's take these weaklings on. Oh, darn it. You know what? I'm telling you about Bronzong anyway. I guess there's no need to, to keep running into stuff. I'm just going to use a Super Repel and be done with it. Okay, um, let's do this. Where do you go? All right. So, yeah, let me fight her while I tell you about Bronzong. I was taught by Master Charon himself how to battle with Pokemon. You lie, I doubt you. I, I doubt you. Um, Lurleen. Whoa, that's an interesting name. She has a deerling. That seems kind of appropriate. So yeah, back to Bronzong really quick. It's actually not too shabby, and it does what its role is quite well, and that's just walling things. Um, it's slow, but it has just so many different moves and strategies you can do with it. That's why I recommend, you know, Bronzong if you're looking for a defensive kind of Pokemon. Works pretty well. That plus, if you have Levitate, it has only one weakness. In fact, if you have its other ability, Heat Proof, it still has only one weakness. Uh, but the thing is, Levitate gives it an immunity, whereas Heat Proof just gives it a resistance to fire. Actually, it doesn't even give it a resistance, it just negates its uh, current thing. No way, you're stronger than Master Charon. How about you call me Master Marilyn and we'll see who's the master now. Okay, so Max Revive right up here. Good item. Good to have, particularly before taking on the Elite Four. And then there's this youngin. How's it going there, buddy? I love bug type Pokemon and I love bug catching. All right, youngster J with an E. Don't know why, but why not, right? Okay, so he has a Carablast on his team. I'm gonna use Strength. It's that sad. Yeah! Take that, you jerk! Well, I guess he didn't really do anything wrong to me. I shouldn't call him a jerk. I don't even know the guy. Alright, Shelmet, huh? Boom! Righteous! And a Joltik. No big deal, I got this. Unnerve. Oh no, I can't eat my berries. What will I do now? Boom. And lastly, a Scolipede. Wow, huh. Whatever. Vesuvian, go do something. Burn that bug. Yeah, flamethrower. Bug bite. Yeah, right. <laughs> I barely did anything. Barely did anything, you big bug. You just got squashed. I won't lose to anything or anyone when it comes to bug catching. Alright, I'm not gonna challenge you there. This is not Soul Silver, after all. Uh, so, this is a kind of uh, useful move. 
TM92, Trick Room. Um, what that does is, for five turns, I think, it uh, reverses the turn order of speed. So basically, the slower Pokemon strike first. Priority still applies, so things using Quick Attack will strike first regardless of their speed. But let's say you have two Pokemon using Quick Attack or a similar priority move, while well, then still the slower one goes first. It's a small weathered shrine. Yeah, this is where you would bring your Landorus if you happen to get the Therian form one from the Pokemon Dream Rainer. Keep in mind that that's only available through the 3DS and it does cost $2.99 if you're playing on the North American 3DSs, or at least the US one. I don't know what it is in Canada, to be honest. I'm sorry, I don't know. Um, look, you found a narrow path. Will you follow it? Yep, this is one of the two hidden grottos. This one, what can we find in here? Eh, just a Pokeball. Oh, well. This one is the northern one, and it has an Amoongus with Regenerator, a Golduck with Swift Swim, and a Swablu with Cloud Nine. None of those are overly great, though. What the heck? That was weird. I thought it was leaving, huh. Oh, snap, it's a Pokemon breeder. I don't like this already. Oops. Hidden item right here. PP Max, baby, yeah. Good stuff. Hello, friend. Why do delicious vegetables grow in the fields of Miss Charlton City? It's because the ones who grow them are very picky about the mulch they use. It's good mulch. Strong mulch. It's stored up a lot of energy for nature. And that makes it really stinky. Uh, yeah, so he gives you a fun fest mission. Uh, yeah, cool. And there's a rare candy right by that guy. Thankfully, he does not battle you. Woohoo! That's good news. That's the greatest news I've heard all day. No, not really, but actually it might be. I don't know. I haven't heard that great of news today. It's just kind of, you know, normal news day, I guess. Uh, alright. There's a hidden item right here. It's a big mushroom. That mushroom's huge, man. That thing is enormous. Um, feels like I'm missing something. I'm trying to think of what. Oh, the northeastern corner, that's right. And the other grotto in here. It's down here somewhere. Let's find it. Oh, where did I put it? I think it's, oh, there it is. It's tricky to see. It's right over by this shiny stone. Yeah, shiny stones. Did I fight you? I didn't even fight that guy. I just slipped right past him. I'll check that grotto out in a moment. My Pokemon's poison really stings! But is it really poison sting or what? Youngster Wes. He's got a Skorupi. And this thing is so weak. Level 39. Come on, man. Come on. You're boring me. Ugh. And the worst part is you get virtually no experience because, you know... The whole proportionate experience thing. Ugh, it's the worst. It's a viper. It's a viper! Eh. Let's just smack it around with strength. Yeah, take that, snaky wakey. What a defeat. I guess I got a taste of my own poison. And my own strength! Uh, is there anything over here? It doesn't look like it. Yeah. I think it's just that hidden grotto that's left, so let's check it out. It's hard to see. Uh, oh, nothing here. But this is the one where you'll find uh, either Vulpix or Bronzor with its hidden ability. Vulpix has Drought, which is amazing. It puts up sunshine indefinitely. Uh, no. Well, okay, when I say indefinitely, I don't mean for the rest of your life, but I do mean for the rest of the battle. It doesn't even wear off. It's just a permanent sunshine. Which, by the way, powers its uh, fire type attacks up by 50%, plus it weakens the power of water type attacks. So it's very helpful for a Vulpix and a Ninetales. It's just a pain, you know, running around for a while and trying to get one. Uh, okay, so that is the, uh, the Abundant Shrine. Uh, maybe someday in the future I will show you the, the Therian forms and stuff, but, you know, for right now you get an idea. Really quick, since I'm on this episode and 
Even though I should be going to bed right now, or sleeping or something, I've got probably way more time ahead of me. I still have to pack! I'm going to the Pokemon Regional Championships! I'm leaving tomorrow morning, and I still have so much I have to do. I'm gonna get virtually no sleep. That's part of the reason I wanted to get all of these videos done so quickly. I'm not gonna bother with it. Um, because I'm not gonna be able to upload anything for the next three days after this. So that's kind of a bummer, right in the middle of, you know, the biggest release in a while. Yeah, I know. I'm sad about that, but at the same time, it should be a fun event. I feel a little out of practice. I blame Black 2 and White 2. Ugh, I've been covering this game for so much. When does it end? No! Ugh. Why? Why do you do this to me? Ugh, you're an evil person. You are the embodiment of evil! Man! Don't static me! That's right! Altaria. Ugh. Why can't I just move along in peace? I just wanted to see what there was in the waterfall! Alright, let's use Ice Punch. We're gonna check this stuff out really quick. You know, the waterfall areas. Looks like I lost you in the love and care department. You're amazing. I know, I'm so great. Whoa, there's still that ice there. That ice. Um, can we even get to there? That's the problem. Oh wow, actually, I don't think uh, oh here we go a little tricky but possible oh you know what oh darn it I literally just pressed X literally just did that <laughs> I wanted to use the repel before the wild Pokemon got to me Oh, well, no big deal, right? No big deal. Okay, yeah, the rest of this episode's probably going to be pretty boring, I'll tell ya. I just wanted to show you the abundant- No, 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 no. The abundant shrine, because, uh, it's kinda neat. Alright, so, down this waterfall, on Route 11, by the way, that's where we're- Oops, wrong thing. That's where we're at. What the heck? It's a trap! And Amoongus. Only level 43. Don't waste my time. Not worth it, bro. Not gonna do that. No way. But the real prize has gotta be over here. And it's not her either. At least I don't think so. Maybe. Alright, she has three Pokemon. A Simi Sage! Look at that thing. Oh, level 52. Good. It's at a decent level. I'll feel like there's somewhat of a challenge. Ooh, U-turn. Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna chance it with high jump kick. I think it'll do more anyhow. It's so strong! And predictable. Semi-poor. Uh, you know what? I'll let you go at it. Scale leaf, yeah! Oh, you are so toast. I'm a leaf blade you. Yeah! Oh, that's great. Okay, cool. And a Simi Seer! Woohoo! Um. Okay, well. I'm gonna send out Maryland for this thing. Alright, let's use Waterfall. Yeah! You got nothing on me, fancy fingers, yeah! I love its its hands, it's all like, hey, 
How's it going? Uh, when you see this berry, please remember us. It's an Asper berry. Okay, cool. Uh, alright, whatever. Uh, where is that item hiding? Did it respawn up there? Ah, oh, another Amoongus. Really? Like, really? I don't want to have to fight another one. Come on, I just want the item. Okay, got away safely. Thank goodness for that. Here's the item you want. It's a Razor Fang. That's the thing you need in order to evolve your Gliscor. Or Gliger into Gliscor. I'm sorry. Um, while you're here, let's use Surf. And uh, we're going to go back up the waterfall. And we're going to go check out the other waterfall. Because this route has quite a few waterfalls, actually. There's one on the other side of the bridge. So, slide over there. Use Surf. And let's climb this thing. Oh yeah. Um, what do we have up here? Patch of grass. A zinc. And yeah, the zinc was hardly worth it. Uh, there is a hidden item. It is a hit point up. Oh yeah, that's the item I couldn't get to earlier. Is that really it? For some reason, I thought there'd be something more exciting up there. Well, whatever the case, that's what there is to do on Route 11. One other optional area you can visit is the Lost Lorn Forest, which I'm going to fly back to right now. Um, yeah, this has turned into the Waterfall episode when I should be taking on the Elite Four, darn it. But, eh, I'm a curiosity, what can you say? I'm Shouldn't have used the repel here, but whatever. Don't really need any more right now, anyway. Okay. Woo! Just gonna ride, ride, ride the bicycle. Oh, what? I guess hidden items do respawn. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's see what we have up this waterfall been bothering me for a while. Woo! Alright. Big old patch of thick grass up here. What's this item? A oh, rare candy! Cool. Very cool. Um, is there anything else fun up here? I know I saw this guy. He's been staring at me for a while. Hey there, young trainer! If you're unsure about something, I'll happily act as your opponent. You'll act, but will you be my opponent? Okay, veteran Murphy. He has a Larvesta. Level 51, wow. It's a funky looking bug thing. Hmm. Guess I'll use strength. Bug types do not exactly do too well against me. Oh, yay, critical hit, nice. And, oh, it's a Heracross. We gotta spoil this thing's fun. Go, America! Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Freedom! 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 Let's fly. Freedom. Rock slide. Oh, you were getting clever now. I see what you were trying to do. I see what you were trying to do. You little Hera jerk. I don't think so, pal. Not today! Okay, Scolipede. America! You've got this, bro. Swords dance. Yikes! That is one fast bug. Fly! Fly away! Quickly now! Boom! Oh, yes. There we go. Took that big old bug out of here. Oh, man, you have more? This is really starting to bug me. I'm gonna send out Vesuvian against this pincer. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's gonna break some mold. Interesting. Oh, wow, this guy has a lot of Pokemon on his team. I just noticed he has five. That is a lot. <laughs> 
Well, hopefully Flamethrower will be enough to take this thing out of here. Cool. It was. And a Levani, and I like this, uh, this pairing pretty good. Good matchup here. Flamethrower that thing. Quick Claw, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Perfect. Now, what were you guarding? Excellent, that was a defeat I can't disagree with. Why did you have so many bug types? I'm ashamed to admit it, but I'm actually lost right now. Now, which way did it come from again? Oh, so what is this? A grass gem. Is that it, really? All this way just for a grass gem up there? Ugh! Well, while I'm here, I'm gonna check that hidden grotto just to see. Sneak past this jerk. He is a jerk. I know him. Alright, what do we have back here? Good to check these periodically, you know. Uh, not a... A damp mulch. Mmm. That sounds gross. Sounds really gross. Okay, I don't think I can fly away in here. Maybe, but I'm too lazy. I just want to leave. Let me out of here. Let me out of here. All right, I'm going to check one more place uh, because I think that might be it. I'm trying to think of any other waterfalls anywhere. And I think the only one I can think of is on Route 20. Scanning my brain. Scanning my brain. I think that's it. Well, we're gonna go there, and you know what? Darn it, that's where it's gonna be. I'm not gonna deal with anything else, no! I just wanna find items and stuff. That's what I wanna do. I wanna see everything. I wanna know where everything is. That's what I like to do. That's my fun in the game. So, Route 20 here. Let's use that repel. And let's surf on this water. Now, we've been back here before since we've gotten surf. If you haven't yet, you can pick up, I don't remember what, something there. But we were not able to use Waterfall, though. So, let's do that now. And... Aha! Do you remember this place? I know. You couldn't get over there. So if you jump, you can pick up a hidden big mushroom right there. That's what's been bothering you the whole game. Well, at least if you were using your, um, your, uh, what is it? Your dowsing machine. Probably was driving you nuts. It's like, where is that thing? How do I get to it? I don't understand. Well, that's how it is. So, uh, let's do this again. I probably could have done that a little bit better. Probably could have done that at the end, but oh well, whatever. That's how it is. That's how it is. Uh, yes, use another, and surf along those rocks here, and you'll find a little cave right here, actually. Woo, pretty cool, huh? So, what's in this cave, you ask? Well, there's absolutely nothing in here. Absolutely nothing. But, do you hear that music? Does that sound a little bit familiar? I know! It's the, uh, the Lake Sprite legendary theme. You know, Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azelf. After you've beaten the game, you can return here. This is the Cave of Being. You can return here, and you'll run into, like, I think Professor Juniper, and then the, the three sprite thingies, the Lake Spirits. Uh, and then they'll scurry off, and they'll travel, not around Unova, like, you know, roaming legendary kind, but they'll show up in specific locations. I'm not going to show you that right now, obviously, because I haven't beaten the game yet. But I'm just telling you in advance, that's what that cave thing is for. That being said, I think we've finally done everything now, so it's time to fly back to the Pokemon League. Where, uh, I don't think we have too much preparation work, really. I might just do a few TM moves and stuff off camera, because I don't see the need for that on camera. And then, um, yeah. Time to take on the Elite Four and the Champion! We'll start with that in the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon White 2! 
adventure! See you next time, trainers!